gravel in the floor, very distinctive. Clearly, almost feel like the kind of the Elberga song. Um, past that, that elbow, past that arch, and the cave suddenly turns sharp left into the river rift. And that's actually where I think the previous uh, explorers had turned back because of my return. I noticed a bit of line tied off there. But I, uh, I turned left. It was quite rifty and quite narrow, but my lights were able to pick up a black space beyond this rift. Um, and it's probably, I guess, it's probably a couple of meters wide. So not, not tight by any means, but you know, much smaller than the rest of the cave that I've been in. But that black space beyond was, was really big, a really big passage. Myself doing decompression um, up at you know 12 and 9 meters. Did about uh, a couple of minutes deco. I had about I don't know seven or eight minutes, I don't know, 10 minutes I think deco to the six meters. And after 200 meters of line laying, I passed the sun. medium-sized chamber, big lake, a little bit of a waterfall coming in. I got up and kind of followed the passage, um, but the cave sunk again pretty quickly. So um, I carried my diving centers over, had a, had a second dive, so I've been to sump two now. Sump two's about 25, uh, maybe, maybe 30, 35 meters long. Passage, something like that, I guess. 